Money, I'm revving. Yeah. Great, just protecting my investment. Huh. Ask about me, integrity's not a question. Ladies and gentlemen, this amateur middleweight bout is set for three rounds at three minutes apiece. First, hiding out of the blue corner. His record is two wins and one loss. His height, five feet, 10 inches. His weight, 185.6 pounds. He trains with Tigers Wrestling out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. His name is Godbody David Richardson. And his opponent, out of the one more gym red corner. His record stands at five wins and one loss. His height, six feet, three inches. His weight, 176 pounds. He trains with Vertex MMA and comes to you from Pulaski, Tennessee. His name is Keith Obey Brown. And of course, one thing we did not get the chance to mention. David Richardson Keith, took ready? on Peyton Hughes. Keith, are you ready? It was less than a month ago, Rocky. Yeah, this dude's very active. We got David Richardson in the solid white, Keith Brown in the white and gold. There's a good head movement there out of David Richardson. Yeah, real nice head movement. Chin a little up in it the air. It is up in the air. I don't like to see that, especially with somebody with such a long reach. Yeah, it feels like just, and that's where David Richardson absolutely needed this fight to go. Definitely, we'll see how Keith Brown does here, if he can get back to his feet. Body lock here from David Richardson. Good trip. Just dragging Keith Brown down. You can tell that Keith Brown really wants to get back to his feet right now. He's really trying to scoot the hips out from underneath David Richardson. Nice oh. elevator sweep, beautiful technique. Really control that post, got that butterfly hook executed perfectly. Great sweep there from Keith Brown. And this could be a really bad spot for David Richardson. Uh, Richardson doing a good job of controlling the hands. David Richardson, with his experience, knows that he's in a bad spot right now. Seeing some nice jujitsu there out of, out of Keith Brown. So definitely no stranger to the ground game. Yeah, the guy that we thought would just come in and, and try to keep it standing. Yeah. Yep. Isn't that how it always goes? Exactly. Oh, good knee there from Keith Brown. Just snuck it right in. A couple of them good ones landed. And David Richardson just walks right through it. It's like these. Wow. Nice flat drop over under toss right there by David Richardson. And, you know, it's it's like that throw wasn't even there, but D David Richardson made it be there. He, it was perfect execution. He set it up way from the very first push against the cage. And here we see Keith Brown in this bottom half guard. We say so many times half guard is a great place for a jiu-jitsu fighter to be, but not Look, so he's great. setting up that elevator sweep again. Yeah, but Let's see if he can pull it off again. I think Richardson's going to be aware of it this time. You see how he's controlling the right arm of Richardson right now. He's controlling that post. Keith Brown's got his right elevator in right there, and he's trying to turn that into a sweep. Oh, and he just uses it to kick and push up. Using the long legs is OP Brown. Keith Brown looking very comfortable in the stand-up right here. Not really worried about the hands of David Richardson. His hands are low. We know that David Richardson does have some heavy hands. Keith needs to be careful just letting his hands hang like that. Great job, Keith Brown, to use his length. Keith Brown's landing these punches on the end of his range. He's just standing, picking him apart right now. Oh, oh, Keith Brown going to work. These are all connecting, Alex. These are going to add up really quick. All of these punches connected. None of them are very, very powerful. None's going to knock David Richardson out. But, of course, we've seen so many times, death by a thousand cuts. Absolutely. The very Diaz-esque, very just pitter-patter punches. But they add up. They create cuts. They create broken noses. And they really start to play a huge factor later on in the fight. What a back and forth round. David Richardson landing a couple takedowns, but not really able to hold Keith Brown down for long. And the feet was just all OB Brown. You see some good hips, some good jujitsu. And there's, he's setting up for that elevator sweep again. There it is. You see that beautiful elevator sweep that he tried twice. The second time, he just turned it into a push off and got to his feet. But Very nice. And here we see just the range of Keith Brown just going to work. And it's so... I mean, you can't put into words how amazing it feels 
when you can be that long and just stand back and, and just keep throwing, and you know you can't be hit. Like a sniper. Yeah, I, I can hit you. You cannot hit me. That's as good as it gets in MMA. Very impressive. Brown out of Keith O.B. Brown. Keith O.B. Brown, excellent job sitting in his command post, firing down shots right there. We'll see if David Richardson can close that distance here in round two. to the gloves here and again OB Brown's control in the center loose and fluid David Richardson really getting on his horse he wants this fight on the ground it's kind of winging punches there you can tell he really wants to close that distance now we see David Rich oh! there it is there it is there it is that's the big right hand we were talking about Alex that's big punches I told you that Keith Brown couldn't leave his chin up like up there like that. You cannot ride out David Richardson and leave your chin hang because of that power. And there it was. The technique was in favor of Opie Brown, but you cannot sleep on the power of David Richardson. If he touches that jaw, it can be over. And we saw it looked like he was only setting those punches up to benefit the takedown, but no, just boom right over top boom and it didn't even look like it landed all that flush no so much power in the hands of david godbody richardson what an excellent performance here tonight and to look, look we think lose that first round that way right just comes out we thought he was going to come out shoot doubles right away no we saw it in the first round i mentioned it that keith Brown needed to watch leaving his hands down like that and leaving his chin hang because we knew that there was all kinds of power in the hands of David Richardson, and that's exactly how it played out. A magnificent fight from both of these fighters, and we're going to go to ring announcer Lance Green for the official decision. B2 fans, 23 seconds into the second round. As a result of a knockout, your winner from the B2 Blue Corner, Godbody, David Richardson! What a dangerous fighter, David Godbody Richardson. You cannot sleep on this guy in any aspect Way up with the same ones that was down from the jump day was same ones been around when the ain't funds even got love for fake ones that changed up like they break one. <laughs>